Uh, okay, Freddy, the stage is yours for Satnogs, and uh, we're happy to listen to the State of the Union for Satnogs. Thanks a lot, Freddy. Thank you. So, hello to everyone. Uh, I'm going to uh, present uh, the last updates, uh, the last the annual report of the Satnox project. So, a uh, quick uh, uh, intro. Uh, Okay, here we are. So, uh, the Sandbox project uh, is a global uh, network of ground stations focused uh, to on automating uh, satellite tracking and communications. To achieve this, we use an uh, open source stack in all levels, hardware, software, on services, and on uh, data. Uh, we try to keep the project modular so anyone can participate with uh, uh custom equipment or uh software uh and we try to automate everything so uh, <clears throat> uh the sandbox project is uh, separated into big groups uh which one which uh, each of them has many sub projects so the one is ground station group and the other is the web and the services uh i don't use the word cloud but it could be like cloud services so uh, before i move forward to uh analyze updates on each of these uh, sub projects i want to like you to get you familiarized with uh, uh, uh with a term that we used the last year uh, it's it's uh, the sorry it's the artifact term. Uh, when we say artifact, we mean uh, observation, a combination of observation data like a, a frame from a satellite, waterfall image or data, an audio file, or everything that can come from an observation, and the metadata that uh, accompany this. Uh, uh, this observation data, uh, like uh, observation parameters or metadata that describe uh, the, the data uh, themselves. So let's uh, start with the client. Client is the one that communicates with network and uh, gets jobs and performs them. Uh, the, uh, the last year we have restricted the configuration process on the, uh, on the client. Uh, I forgot to say that client is the software part of the ground station. Um, so we have restructured the configuration process. We have also uh, tried to move to a new architecture. So there is code base refactoring and several bug fixes. We also starting support artifacts. Artifacts, it's more like uh, an idea of moving to something more standardized with metadata and things like that. So you will see it in many aspects of Sadnox. So we have added support uh, in experimental, uh, uh, which is experimental right now, and we are moving forward. And also we did some adjustments to GeoSadnox changes, which is the radio software that runs in, uh, on the client. We'll talk about it later. Uh, so in the future, we need more to do more changes to move to the new architecture we have uh, in our plans. Uh, to improve the artifact support, uh, to implement an interface that will allow us to communicate with uh, other projects from a client uh, from client side, and uh, also we are going to uh, support transmission uh, uh, under the Sadnox Homes project. Uh, the next is the radio software. I don't uh, before it's. Uh, Two actual two projects, uh, GR Sadnox and Sadnox Flowgraphs. Uh, they are responsible for processing and demodulating and decoding uh, the signals that we receive with uh, our uh, SDR devices. Uh, GR Sadnox is an out of trig radio module and uh, in combination with uh, Flowgraphs that are, uh, uh, fl and Flowgraphs are the uh, the GNU radio part that process uh, the different satellite transmissions. Uh, in the last year, we have, oh, here are the, uh, sorry, 
yeah, here are some uh, modes that we are supporting uh, through Sadnox flow graphs. Uh, you can see some known of them like APRS, FSK, STV. So uh, last year we have uh, transitioned from uh, GR Osmo SDR uh, dependency to GR Sropy that allow us to uh, use more uh, uh, more SDRs uh, with more configurable way. Uh, also, we split the flow graphs logic from the GR Sadnox project. It was merged, but we split it uh, into a new repository, so it's easier to write right now flow graphs for your satellite. Uh, we have improved and adding new flow graphs, and also that fact support uh, in combination with the changes in, uh, in the client. In the future, we are going to uh, improve and add more flow graphs improve that fax support, and also support transmission, uh, again, under Samsung's project. So on the hardware part, on rotator and Sadnox antennas, uh, we didn't have many updates the last year, uh, mostly maintenance and small fixes, but there were several people uh, that uh, has constructed uh, antennas and Sadnox rotator uh, inside and outside the uh, Sadnox uh, project, uh, as the as everything is uh, on uh, uh, on GitLab, uh, all the hardware and software sources. So in the future, uh, we are experimenting with some new concerns in rotators and antenna builds. Uh, stay tuned for more more updates. Uh, I want to also mention the LSTN kit. Uh, it was. Uh, uh, with uh, Volva uh, uh, Library at the Center for, uh, for Astrophysics and Libre Space Foundation, we have created the Sandnox, the, this Sandnox Ground Station Kit for the project Library Space Technology Network, uh, which is a pilot project that will allow five public libraries to uh, build a station with uh, the audience of the libraries and uh, learn more about uh, space and uh, satellites and how how things work. Um, and now we are going to the cloud uh, part, uh, the web and the services that we uh, that we offer as Sadnox project. Uh, the first one is the network. You can see here the several stations green with that are online online right now, and in the orange is are the stations that are in testing mode. Uh, as you can see, they are spread it uh, all around the world. We still have areas that we need more stations, but yeah, uh, just to mention here that in in uh, places that we have stations, we need even more for several reasons we can discuss later. Um, so the network is uh, the service that allows to manage our stations, schedule uh, satellite observations, and display all the stored display and rate all the results that come from these observations. Uh, the last year, we have improved performance on different levels, back and front end. We had some bug fixes and maintenance. Uh, we have improved uh, some UE uh, user interface uh, elements. Uh, also, we have done several architectural uh, changes uh, due to moving to artifacts uh, support. And also, we performed almost 2 million observations the last year. Uh, in the future, we are going to improve our API uh, and our MPI client, which can consume our API. Uh, we are going to complete the artifact support, improve scheduling automation, uh, improve artifact observation rating system, so we can know when a satellite is uh, alive or not. And uh, also, we are going to support the transmission, again, under Sanox uh, comms project. Uh, some st statistics, uh, we have 245 online stations and uh, 134 testing stations. We have almost 5,000 observations per day and uh, almost 25,000 demodulated frames per day. You can see also the last year stats too. Um, on the, uh, and here is uh, uh, an approximation of the coverage of the network uh, right now for for the last year. Um, 
on the subnodes DB, uh, DB is the way the the place that we store uh, artifacts. We are going to store artifacts, and also uh, we are storing frames of satellites that come also from external sources, and uh, it's a crowdsourced uh, satellite mission database, uh, and everyone can uh, contribute and add satellite missions. Uh, the last year we have uh, changed uh, uh, the UE, it's a new user interface, more user friendly with more uh, details and uh, uh, features. Uh, we have done some maintenance, performance improvements and bug fixes. Uh, we have a new a API endpoint for TLE sets that we can distribute and uh, also we have distribute through, through it some of our uh, TLE sets that we have generated as community. <coughs> uh, also, we, uh, we have started with artifact support and we have integrated Metasat schema by exposing our API into a JSON LD format that uses this Metasat schema and this helps us to, <coughs> excuse me, so, uh, to integrate with other projects that use this Metasat schema. It's like standardized uh, some of your uh, terms and some of your entities that you use on your project and uh, allows, allows you to communicate with uh, other projects. Uh, in the future, we are going to introduce uh, a satellite ID that will help us solve uh, several problems. Uh, we are going to continue with the Metasat schema integration, uh, complete artifact support, improve our API and the API client of DB, and also uh, standardize and improve DB service in coordination with other projects that use, uh, uh, use DB. Uh, here are some statistics, uh, 467 satellites, some of them are already rendered and uh, 985 transmitters, uh, more than 88.5 million frames uh, the last year, uh, uh, sorry, in total, and um, uh, all of these from uh, 1,276 contributors uh, from Sandung's network or other uh, external sources. Um, <clears throat> And we're going to uh, decoder service, which is a service we use for describing uh, the encoding of uh, transmissions of its satellite uh, through the kaitai.io uh, project. And also this allows us to generate scripts that decode these uh, transmission frames. The last year we have added new decoders, improved decoding time. Uh, also many people uh, start uh, from satellite teams started to uh, integrate their missions with uh, Sadnox by creating decoders. Uh, and uh, even some before satellite deployment, which was very useful when their satellite deployed and they had uh, instantly decoded data. Uh, also from all the DB frames we said before, 70% of them uh, has a decoder, has, has been decoded by one of our decoders. Uh, in the future, we need to create more decoders, continue to involve uh, people and satellite teams in this process, and also improve uh, the process design of decoders, how to, how we, uh, the, the architecture of decoding. Uh, here are the supported decoders right now. Uh, with the blue, you can see the last year uh, additions. And we're moving uh, to the Sadnox dashboards. Uh, this is a way to display and visual visualize all these uh, decoded data from uh, uh, satellite transmissions we get and frames. Uh, and uh, this is done by uh, using Grafana dashboards. Uh, the last year, uh, several new dashboards have been created from uh, community or from the satellite teams. Uh, and many missions had, uh, several missions had uh, a dashboard even before they were deployed, so they were ready to watch their satellites as soon as it was deployed. Uh, also, many satellite teams used these dashboards for their mission analysis. 
in the future, we plan to create more dashboards, uh, involve more team with people on satellites, and also we we'll do experiment more with Grafana alert system, so the satellite team could get alerts when something goes wrong. Uh, finally, I would like to uh, say uh, to highlight some of community contributions. Uh, we, the last year, we have uh, generated 76 daily sets, some for before the deployment and some after the deployment. We are working on automate this uh, TLE generation. Uh, it needs some work, but it goes well. Uh, we have done several satellite identifications uh, through the observations we have done. Um, <clears throat> there is also uh, an integration guide for satellite teams that will like to integrate their missions with Sadnox. Uh, it's it's uh, in, on the wiki, so the Sadnox wiki. Uh, also, many users uh, give us feedback and uh, offer support through uh, issues, community forum, and chat. Uh, there are many updates on Sadnox wiki that uh, helps to document better uh, the Sadnox project. Also, many people scheduled and rated observations. And <laughs> of course, uh, many amazing station owners. And uh, for all these things and more contributions, I would like to say a big thank you to the whole Sadnox community. Uh, it's very important, their every, every contribution and we are very, we are we we appreciate it too much. Uh, so uh, you can join us uh, following the wiki, uh, the repos, the community. Uh, this is our the main channel, so uh, communicate with us uh, with with our chat. Uh, thank you. This is all right. Thank you, Freddy. Oh, I'm fine. You can <laughs> applaud. Yeah, well done. <laughs> okay, so maybe some of you had some comments or questions. Um, so you, you discovered how you can upload. That's good. <laughs> uh, so Freddie, thanks thanks a lot for, for all this. While uh, somebody can turn on the microphone and camera and, and ask your question, feel free to do that. Uh, I see that the map the map actually is uh, bringing more stations on the south, uh, south hemisphere of Earth. That's pretty cool to see uh, this happening. Uh, Fabian, uh, you have a question or a comment? I would can't hear you, sorry. I only oh, I switched on for the discussion group, uh, but I don't have a question. Uh, okay, okay. You, you, you're here also to answer a question. So uh, Fabian, uh, alias uh, Kerel on the network, you can you can find him over there. He's also, uh, uh, he knows everything about Satnux too. <laughs> That's good. There's an upload status, exactly. So this is also the first presentation where we're getting the hangout of uh, BBB. I see Juan Lu actually uploading. That's good. Oh, Boris, you have a question. Go ahead. Go yes. Ahead. Uh, thank you, Alfredo. Uh, is that always possible to post-process some previous downloaded uh, frames and, and, and give them back to a team if we are not the team in charge of the satellite. I mean, from the database, can we can we contribute to process the data and give the result back to the teams? Yes, yes. Uh, the data are saved. Uh, all the frames and the data are saved in uh, database, and uh, uh, anyone can access them through through the API and uh, a simple API key. So even missions that are not integrated with Sadnox. Uh, uh, you, they can come and get their data after the mission. It's good to know. So it's it's pretty much open data. At some point, you just get a key in it. Good. There's mm -hmm. another question from Damien. Uh, I can ask it, Damien, if you're not turning on your microphone. When should the transmission feature be live? That's a question from Damien. Uh -huh. uh, we, we, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't have a, an answer for this, but uh, we need first to do several uh, architectural uh, changes in, uh, in the client and all the parts, the GeoSatnox project, uh, the network. Uh, we, we are getting there. I, I hope uh, 
in the next months to to be able to to use the transmission but i don't have a okay a clear timeline right now so you have to keep yourself updated and and uh, that's it so yeah uh, feel free to join the satnox channel on uh, on matrix and uh, and and join alfredo um alfredo's freddy Karel and everybody's discussions over there and you you'll know that in in the time when it's it's actually live thanks a lot freddy uh we're going to to